Walton will give it up to Johnson. And for three right there is Jessica Booth. Usby. Now Kelly. Kelly's going to take a three. She buries it. We watched her in warm-ups. She struggled with that shot. Get going against Hampton. She was frustrated. But now it gets those players like Usby, Donarski, and Paris some last early. Pearson comes in firing and nails a three. Wearing number zero to keep an eye on Ava LaRue, who's also a six foot four freshman. Zelaya a little bit late there. The bucket rolls in for Elon. On number one, Regina Walton, the sophomore. Good help defense from Zelaya. Zelaya now has got a box out, but it goes in the basket. So right in the final seconds here, Elon including second chance opportunities. Good finish from James, and it's no basket. Gockton can finish. That's a good pass as they find LaRue open. Great team basketball from Elon. For North Carolina, Gockton is a good scoring option right now. Try and get her open in the middle, see if she can post up. Nia Kelly, that is huge because that has been the biggest issue to start her freshman campaign as she has struggled shooting, particularly from three. Good for her to get a shot a little tighter to the bucket. Deja Kelly dribbles into it. She can hit that one. Her numbers off the bench have been fantastic. She's played a ton of minutes as well. Good little drop step, good little leaner. Nice play. No, I'm with you. Here's Paris. Donarski, that's her spot. Yes. Baseline help. Good extra pass and a nice finish. Tremendous pass and then Taylor with the finish. The footwork from Usby and then the block without even leaving her feet. Outstanding. Donarski, short. God dang, yes, and an and one. Goes right back up with it. Taylor with a great closeout. Offensive rebound gets another chance. Gokdang get. They'll switch it. Pearson. No look pass to Donarski. It was already high five in Kelly. Rebound anyway from Navarre. Gokdang. Gokdang uses the basket for protection. And she's got 11. Now she's right behind Usby, who leads the way with 12. Great finish. Just to have two bigs that can play as well as Usby and Gokdang. You can run them together, run them separate. Just so many options for Banghart. Just look at the way she moves underneath the basket. First off, a good pass for McPherson to get her open. Double comes. And pass now on the other end. Has a spectacular finish of her own. Tosses it up that just her adjusting to this level she said yeah she really just needs to see some fall two for two today maybe that'll help well, apparently in practice she's lights out all the time there's Navarre you know coach Banghart talking about a lot of that offensive team four seconds on the shot clock McPherson step back three as the third quarter comes to an end McPherson let the crowd count it down step back money And instead of even getting a shot, you step out of bounds and give the Tar Heels the ball. Navarre, McPherson, extra pass to Kelly. And Kelly hits the three. She's got 13. From North Carolina has been really good. And just pass Navarre, McPherson, Kelly. You mentioned that not being a bad foul. Well, she's being aggressive. She's being intense, which Coach Banghar loves. Really a good overall game for her. Good breakdown, Nick Cross says. You got a fouler, and that's what's been happening. Usby McPherson with another no look to Deja Kelly. Usby with a rebound. Three Tar Heels crashing the board together, including Renaya Kelly. Usby and Usby with the left hand leaner. Now for the Tar Heels, resulting in a lot of points for North Carolina. You see there. Makes her own clothes. Talented, talented woman, Sylvia Crawley. Usby, that left hand. We won't see you 
here at Carmichael Toe after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving with your final score, North Carolina 68, Elon 39. Final thoughts.